Hi. In this tutorial, we are going to make a magic crystal orb. First, create a material and click to open a window. After creating a Fresnel node, hold down S on the keyboard and click to create two parameter nodes. Set their names and values, like the video, and connect them with the Fresnel node. Next, create a 1 minus node and connect to the Fresnel node. When you go preview, a bright gradient is created from inside to out. Hold down M on the keyboard and click to create a multiply node, and hold down 3 on the keyboard and click to create a constant pre vector node. Convert the constant pre vector node to a parameter and set its name and color. Then connect the both 1 minus node and constant pre vector node to the multiply node. Next, create a multiply node and a parameter node. Give the parameter node a name and value. Connect both parameter node and the multiply. For the next step, we are going to make a texture for the orb. Return to the content browser. Import the motion 4-way chaos material function of engine content. You can set the engine content in view options. Next, create a bump offset node and connect it to the motion 4-way chaos node. After that, create two parameter nodes and a texture object parameter node. Name the texture object parameter node, set it as smoke tile texture, and give the two parameter nodes a name and value. And then link total three nodes to the motion four way chaos node. Next, after creating a text chord node, generate a multiply node and a parameter node. Next, set a name and value of the parameter node and connect both text chord node and parameter node to the multiply node. Next, Generate a panner node and connect to the multiply node. Create an append node with two parameter nodes. Set their names and values like the video, connect them to the append node, and link the append node to the panner node. Next, create a parameter node and name it. Connect both panner node and parameter node to the bump offset node. Hold down T on the keyboard and click to make two texture sample nodes. Set one of them as Sky Star's texture after converting to a parameter, and set the other one as Noise texture. Next, copy all the nodes connected to the bump of set node and connect them to the texture sample node where the Sky Star texture is set, and rename the parameter nodes among the copied nodes. In this time, Copy all the nodes connected to the panner node and the panner node like the video. Connect it to the remaining texture sample nodes. Rename the parameter nodes among the copied nodes. Next, create a multiply node and link two texture sample nodes with the multiply node. After that, make multiply node and parameter node, then change the name and value of the parameter node. To the multiply node you just created, link another multiply node and the parameter. Next, Copy the nodes we created at the beginning and then change names and values of the parameter nodes among the copied nodes. Among the copied nodes, replace the 1 minus node to a power node in order to adjust the thickness of the line outside the sphere. Next, create a parameter node and give it a name and value, then connect it to the power node. Reset the constant pre vector node's name and color. Next, hold down L on the keyboard and click to create a lerp node. Connect two multiply nodes to the lerp node like the video. Next, generate a max node and connect the motion four-way chaos node and the lerp node to the max node. When you preview, you can see blurred inside and glowing outer borders. Make a multiply node and connect it to another multiply node and the max node. And then, link to the emissive color. Lastly, create two parameter nodes and set their names and values, then connect them to metallic and roughness. When finished, save and return to the content browser. Right-click on the material we made, and make a material instance. Drag the sphere mesh from the place actor and place it in the level. Change the sphere mesh to an appropriate size. Now, apply the material instance to the sphere mesh. Click the material instance to open a window, and check all the parameter groups, and then, Adjust the parameter. 